Hello everybody, this is Tanya or Miss Flick from Flickaboo.com. Today, as you can see, back with another Alien Isolation episode. Today it is episode number 9, but before we get going and continue the game, I have two announcements to make. Uh, there is something uh, that I wanted to answer in this episode. Scott the villain asked the last time on episode 8 what the story is behind uh, the xenomorph being called Charlie. As you know, if you watched my Let's Play of Alien Isolation, you know that we gave him the name Charlie and uh, some people may have wondered what is it about Charlie? Why did she call him that way? Well, the question is easily answered. The, it actually was an idea that brought by me by Midnight Pearl. You will see her name here up there someplace in the video. You can also go in the description below. I put a link to her Twitter profile there and she came up with a name. What the story is behind that and to that answer your question, Scott the villain, <laughs> that is Midnight Pearl names all her stuffed toy collections Charlie because it would be so ridiculous to name 30 plus toys a different name each time and she buys a new one. So Charlie is a safe name to use. And with the amount of nightmares she used to have as a child, the only name she could come up with was Charlie. So that's the reason why we call the Xenomorph Charlie. Because I saw that little discussion about the nightmares, about the stuffed animals. There will be animals all over the place. And I know that problem. You cannot give them all a different name. So yeah. What she did was she called all her stuffed animals Charlie. So, and because I found that so cute, I said right away, Midnight Pearl, you know what? I will name Alien Charlie because he's so cute, right? He hugs you, he, he, he hugs you, he kisses you with his tongue and whatsoever. But, <laughs> yes, Scott the villain, this is the answer to why we chose Charlie as a name for the alien. The second uh, announcement that I wanted to make for today's episode is you can uh, expect this episode today to be a little bit different, actually a little bit much different than usually, because you can fold all these people up there. There will be a little pop-up here and you will see why that is, that this episode is so different from the others before. Uh, I asked in a poll on Twitter if what people would say if I would ask them uh, to do my next Alien Isolation episode, which is this one today, uh, <laughs> with a comedian styled impersonization of Emo Phillips, which is a comedian and if you watch uh, on YouTube his videos, especially the ones from the earlier years, uh, you will agree with me that he is quite ridiculous in his uh, voice style and um, after some time watching him we realized very quickly that I'm quite capable of uh, imitating his voice style and so I used to uh, make a lot of jokes and uh, use his skits and uh, do the same voice that Emo does on his uh, comedy show and uh, it was just so ridiculous and so many people laughed at it and giggled and I thought well why not why not uh, choose an alien isolation episode and do that voice and guess what like I said you can fold all these people there 74 votes came in and from these 74 votes, 61% wanted me to do this today. And uh, <laughs> of course, that was a landslide win for that uh, uh, choice. So that's uh, what's going to happen today. So um, yeah, <laughs> what we will do now, we will go into the game soon and we will continue the journey. And I will as much as possible try to stay in the style of Emo Phillips voice. Uh, which can be quite ridiculous and with a little bit of help of the alien and all the surroundings of the game it will probably be quite uh, hilarious. So let's see how much of a fool I make myself today with this episode and if you like it let me know so I will continue doing that um, like sporadically into the episodes as long as this game continues and these episodes will be called Alien Isolation Emo Mania Mode <laughs> because of the emo voice uh, improvisations. 
Okay, but what would be an emo voice impersonation without an actual skit from emo that is so famous and I really really love that one every time it gets me when he does that. And what you can expect in this episode is the following. Okay, let me get into my role first of all. It's a little bit difficult because I was the whole day thinking about it, how I will be doing it. So let's see. When I used to be a boy, or a child in that case, I used to pray to the Lord for a new bicycle. But I realized the Lord doesn't work that way, so I stole one instead and asked him to forgive me. <laughs> so this is kind of the voice style that Emo does in his comedian skits and I think he is so hilarious. So we try to play this game and I try to keep this voice style up as much as possible. If anything, um, sometimes I may need to rest my voice and speak normally like I do now and uh, see how it goes inside the game. So enough talk. Now let's go into the game and continue the saga of Alien Isolation. Alright. Okay, so let's go into the game and see that we can continue in the Emo Mania style. Oh yeah! <laughs> okay, Alien Isolation, continue game. There we go. Now let's see how we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Still a little nervous for that. <laughs> Alright, so let's see where we need to go. Because as you well know, the alien could come out any time. And there is a vent. Let's see how we continue in this game. Where do we not for go? Oh it's dark. Ooh, it is okay. All right, I will take the trash with me and remove this damn brack. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I just realized I need to replace my revolver bullets and call the elevator. Come on, come on. Miss Flip is waiting for you. <laughs> let's call the elevator and let's see what the next level will bring to us. <laughs> I have so much fun doing this. You cannot imagine that. Ooh. What is this noise? Ugh. Ooh, the flesh bank blue blueprint. I know this level and it's not easy to do. Ooh, I think the gas torch will be the one thing that we will find here. But before we go to the banging noise, we will see that we can find something down here. See what we can grab for the take. No, we will not do that right now. Because somebody is still banging on that damn door. Who are you? Hello? It is a working Joe banging his head off in poor delight. Oh, this is so fun. I know we will be attacked by a working Joe soon, so it will be a lot of fun, of course to hide. Ooh. Someone shut everything off. 
I think that's not a good uh, idea. I know someone's in here. No, we are not here. Calm okay. down in there, you android fuck. <laughs> You have to listen to your voice. Ooh. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. I went to a lot of trouble to secure this place. Oh. I had no idea you had done this. Can't believe those assholes threw me out. You're not going anywhere. I think I know that already. Losing my damn mind. He said he loses his damn mind. Maybe we can kick him from the behind. This turned into a nightmare real quick. Hmm. This guy is looking in our direction, so that is not a good idea. Yeah. The best way to get rid of enemies is with a stick. I'm sure this will release the android and that is not a good idea. Not quite sure what we are supposed to do here. Let me find out what's opening now. There's something missing, of course. Hmm. Must be on the other side. Oh, green monitors. That's ideal. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Mr. Roboto. You shouldn't be here. It is he, us. Oh, oh, oh. It is he, us. I don't know. You are right about that, Mr. Android. I'm not going anywhere. You might as well show yourself. No, we won't. There's still something amiss here. No, you are not right about that, Mr. There is the android. You know what? <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! We got him! Well, that was rather easy to do. Take it. I had some trouble, so it's gonna take me a while to get back. We can wait. Taylor can't. I can catch the next car. Your call. All right. Here we go. And of course, I'm sure we get the torch here as well. 
Restart transit. Listen, you crazy bastard. You think that thing gets around in a fucking transit car? You're sitting on an override that will disconnect the transit from Apollo? So fucking pull it. You can stop all this bullshit just by pulling lever. You think you're safer with the transit power down, but we are trapped like rats. Oh, for God's sake, help us. Got a heads up for you, jackass. Don't even think about throwing in with Sinclair and the six and security guys. I told them it was you that killed Morrison. If they see you, they'll shoot on sight. You should have list. Let me join you in your bolt hole. You won't last a week. Nothing shared. No audio. Nothing for us to grab. Except death bodies. And the torch. Which will come in handy, of course. Oh, the alien sound in my ears. Ringing bells. And whistles. Here we come, torching our way through the door. This is a damn big door. Cut the panel faster. So much sound, please, because the alien is not deaf. That is a long way down. Places. Good, it's in Claire. We need supplies. Take what you can from whoever you want. I found an area in habitation where we conceal ourselves in and wait for rescue. I've got guys welding vents shut and shutting off elevators, plan us to make it watertight. There's no room for more people in the sanctuary, but we can make space for their food, meds, water, and guns. If we're gonna get everyone through this alive, there's no room for pity. Alright, so I rewired this thing for our advantage of course where do we know now Ripley we heard voices as we left watch yourself oh oh we might have guests coming our way. And that will not be fun. I think we should save the progress right now. I'm sure there will be another one. But we don't want to be see saving opportunity. No. Sure. Oh no. I know. We know that. Quick! 
was not a good idea to engage with these people. Maybe we should hide instead. Let's see if they leave on their own. Maybe not so much. I'm not sure they will leave on their own. Are you holding up? You okay? No. Let's go find Sinclair. No way we should be splitting up. Safety in numbers. Maybe they do I'm leave. Sure that this thing is I still think we need more support. Give me one clear shot. I'll stop the fucker. <laughs> Alright, sometimes waiting is better than running into action. There we go. I think it would be a wise idea to create another pipe bomb. These tiny little devices come always in handy. Station serving the Solomon's Galleria Mall, Colonial Marshall Bureau, and six inhabitation suites. As I said, there would be a saving station here, but it was good anyway we saved because we died. Ripley, we're in the Marshall Bureau. Just turn right at the top of the stairs. You can't miss it. No welcome committee? Just get up here. Wait's out. No welcome committee for you, Miss Ripley. Keep out. Nobody keeps the Ripley out. Ooh, this part is not a nice part. Tons of androids and working jokes ahead of us. Sebastopol and fuck the marshals. Calm down, calm down. Not so again. Wakes has a plan. A plan? Really? His fucking plans haven't done us much good so far. I would agree with that. No. In a past life, my kids would start in life. Oh well, this is quite the welcome community. How do we pass them? Every noise I hear freaks me out. Me too. Maybe there is another way around? Let's find out! If 
it's always good to search everything before you go into your adventures. We cannot build another Molotov cocktail, of course. For some reason, everybody wants to keep us out. I'm quite sure this has a reason. But this is the only way we can go, possibly. get up there. Is, are they actually enemies? You think we're safe here? No, I they are not. Safe. Was that you? Did you get the transit running? Nice work. Thank you. Anybody I can talk to? Mr. Waits, where are you? How's Taylor? Stable. Should be walking soon enough. Samuels is with her now. Okay. You managed to get transit up and running, so I guess we're even. Where's Ricardo? Prepping our next move. Look, I'm busy. I've got Marlo in the cells, the lowlife who showed up with your flight recorder. Where's Marlo's ship? The Anisadora. He put it in a parking orbit around the gas giant. Son of a bitch won't give us the command codes to let us bring it in on auto. Maybe you can get more out of the unhelpful bastard. Go talk to him. I used to be very helpful in situations like that, but I'm not sure about this one. Oh. Let's find out if there's something for us to grab here. And talk to Marlo just in a little while. Until we found everything else. What are you looking at? It looks like a satellite dish. Of some sort. Alright, let's save the game here. And now, let's talk to Marlo. Marlo? Who wants to know? My name's Ripley. I'm with the company. Here for your empty box already? You guys are keen, I'll give you that. I'm here for personal reasons. My mother was on the Nostromo when it went missing 15 years ago. You serious? Shit. Well... Shit. We never found her ship, Ripley. Just the recorder. But you sure as hell found something else. What happened out there? I need a way out of here, Ripley. Maybe we can make a deal. Just start talking. I want to know everything. Oh, story time. Tom check. You get me, Lewis? 
little fuzzy, Marlo, but you're coming through. Let's take it slow. I want to get to that beacon in one piece. If you're looking for a piece, Foster, I've got something for you right here. I'd need scanning equipment to find it, Heist. <laughs> okay, enough already. Focus on what we're here for. I don't want any mistakes. Space walks. When I was a kid, I always used to want to be an astronaut. But then I realized I could play games instead and be one if I wanted to. This is fucking ridiculous, guys, and it's so much fun actually to do a different voice while you play the game. When this is all over, you have to tell me how you like this little twist in a horror game with a different voice. Can you walk, please, mister? Otherwise I will take lead. I always wanted to be the leader. There you are. Foster, Meeks, keep your eyes open. Ooh, this looks like the alien movie. I forgot we are playing an alien game set in the universe of the Xenomorphs. Going. See if I can find a weak spot. Wait here. Gonna need a lift. Heist, over here. Give me a leg up. Where do I need to go? Let me find a way here. There must be some form of formation that I can push by the side. I'm not sure if I read this thing correctly. Apparently not. Oh, I think I found it. I found a path. Checking it out. Then you wait some more. Yes, you wait for me while I will check out any sensors. myself lady in the mirror every day this looks so cold stay put Only going to blow the block with this thing, you will blow the whole universe. Come on, 
Kabush! In space, nobody hears your scream. Oh. Let's get going. Follow Why? me. Why not? I thought it was quite funny. Heist, over here. Give me a leg up. Yes, Heist, come here. I need your hand. I'm here. I'm waiting for you. the source of the signal. There's a beacon. And on the way to the beacon, please do not step in alien goo. graphics of this game are absolutely insane. I mean, it almost looks like in the movie right now. So amazing, beautiful. Enter the derelict. And entering the derelict we will. stare at this the whole day. It's almost as beautiful as the sunrise. What the hell do you think we're gonna find here, Marlo? Something big. Maybe God. I'm sure we will not find anything useful here unless you're looking for a close encounter of the third kind. There's an opening up ahead. Oh my god. Holy shit. Careful with what you touch. I don't want anything damaged. It's amazing. A cockpit? And make this a ship? Ha <laughs> I think we found our payload. Hey, quiet! What? You think we're gonna wake him? Hey, sorry, pal. Damn it! We're wasting time. Have a look around. No, no. It's, it's a life form. It was a life form. Now it's our property. Salvage rights. And we need to stake our claim before anyone else does. And Isadora is not prepared for something this big. Then we'll take what we can and come back. Have a look around, see what else is here. Marlo, we found something. Tracks. Tracks? It looks like something was dragged. But that's not all. You're not gonna like this. What is it? The tracks lead here. The same name that's on the flight recorder. No strong law. Someone's Maybe they abandoned ship and landed here. I can see that. Shit. If they were here before us, why is there no record of this place? Well, if they're still alive, there goes our salvage. Let's find out. 
I'll find the beacon and shut it off. Don't want anybody else finding this place. Foster, Heist, check out the cavern below. This looks absolutely stunning. I think it's so beautiful. What is this? I've never seen anything like it. It's not human, I'm telling you that. I'm pretty sure you are right, what's that? What did you find? A spine in the... in the earth? Thank you, mister, for the lift up. Why would you go inside the dark hole? Not even I would go inside there, let alone try to get the thing on my ship and fly away far beyond the sky and the stars. Mix, I found the beacon. I'm gonna check it out. Ooh. This looks rather intricate. Shut down the beacon, please. Don't know what happened, but the beacon stopped broadcasting. Really, you have got to see this. It's amazing. On my way. I'm on my way as fast as I can go. Or better saying as far as the game lets me go. Otherwise I would be running and already be there. This character is as quick as a snail on vacation. The music doesn't promise anything good to happen. Do that? Didn't you watch the movies? Oh, we do it anyway, do we? Bye bye, sir. It was nice to meet you. Amazing. I'm sure these Easter eggs hold all the surprises in the world. Possibly even more. Like an alien creature, maybe? Touch that.
that was definitely not the right decision. I want to know more. Everything. Where's your ship? If we can break the comms lockdown, what are the codes to bring it in on auto? If you want more, then you need to get me out of here. Not happening, Marlo. Is that right? Well, you know where I am. Wait! My board and the tech spy just lit up like a Christmas tree. It's here. Plan B. Set it up. Whatever's happening, I want in. Okay, this way. Got something here you'll need. You got something for me? Ah, I take it. Of course I do. The flamethrower? Yes. That's what I waited my whole life for. Let's hope this thing works. It's an animal. Animals are afraid of fire. I hope you're right. Me hope so too. I've got a plan to trap it. Take a transit car and meet Ricardo in the Sistex fire. I'll coordinate from here. Before we do that, we will save the game, of course. Okay, let's get that. We're gonna get through this and leave you alive. <laughs> Alright guys, this was it for the episode number 9 of Alien Isolation. I hope you had as much fun and uh, entertainment as I had while I was doing my voice stick or stück as we say in German. And uh, if you want to see more of this emo mania mode in upcoming episodes, uh, not the next one maybe, but the next after that. So it's a little bit um, uh, placed in between and not all at the same time. So if you liked it, comment below what you liked the most about it and uh, l let me know what you think about it. And if you liked it, like it, you know already, you like it, comment and share it with your friends on Twitter. And um, yeah, if you're not subscriber yet and you like the content of my channel, um, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell uh, so you don't miss the next episode. Okay guys, I'm also planning um, tomorrow, possibly tomorrow I will uh, plan to edit my new Flickr collage video, which would be episode number two. And in this one we have five Flickrs who actually submitted their videos for this collage. The last one was a bonus, it's the fifth Flickr for this episode. And that is the mysterious bald man. So the next flickers will be featured in that collage and you can hear from them as well what flickaboo.com is about and what the whole vision behind this concept and the project is. And if you enjoy what they have to say, um, feel free to join them on flickaboo.com and I hope you enjoy the rest of your ride on my channel. I will uh, provide more games soon and uh, after Alien Isolation is done, as mentioned before, I will exchange the Wednesdays and Sunday evenings with live streaming possibly. Um, maybe horror games, maybe not, because I know many people are actually not horror fans, so they want to see something more neutral. <laughs> not so gory and uh, creepy and all that stuff. So I will see what I can do about that and possibly that will be the one thing that I will stream when I start my first live stream on Twitch. Okay guys, I wish you a wonderful day and um, I see you soon in the next episode and also tomorrow in the Flickr collage. Bye bye!